22 students and soon a career. It's long been an ambition of Rwanda, a country in desperate need of artisans and technicians. But in this class at the Mazaka Incubator near Kigali, the focus is very much on business. Soon these young men and women will work in leather, like John M. Furanzima, a 38-year-old craftsman who produces shoes and leather goods. is to open my factories myself here in Rwanda. And it's a dream that is no longer inaccessible. John's newfound confidence is mainly due to the business incubator that opened in 2012. It's there that international trainers helped expand his skills. It support me as uh, like skills, as, uh, working small sports shoes and the uh, belt and wallet but no men's shoes, because this men's shoes is uh, need by high skills, high skills. Shoes for men, uh, it's very difficult. No many people who does know how to do it. In 2007, Rwanda recognized the added value that could be given to raw materials as one of the primary sources of economic potential for the country. With the help of the African Development Bank, the new incubator will focus on processing leather fruit crops and milk. Fifteen startups have already been established. Our objective is to make sure that people improve in the quality of products, in uh, uh, increase their revenue through different uh, services such as marketing, uh, business plan development, uh, so we are here to help very, very small businesses to grow. One business that had been struggling to take off was the horticultural and beekeeping derivatives company owned by Juvenal Ande Yasenga. A former civil servant, he founded his company with $440 to buy basic equipment. And since he joined the incubator, business has begun to improve. The equipment that is here helps us produce 10 times more than we used to. It's a well-equipped and very clean place compared to where we were working. What we produced in one day takes one hour here. It's created several jobs. Despite these successes, local entrepreneurs still face difficulties. Getting bank loans for startups is a huge challenge. There was a, a very big problem in terms of, um, you know, uh, in, in the financing mechanism, where uh, you had people who have who had good projects, you know, uh, especially uh, uh, startups, and they could not find the right, uh, the right finance. It's this sort of paradox the AFDB hopes to resolve through its support program. Funds of $38 million are being distributed in grants and loans. When we started it last year, uh, Rwanda was facing some you know, problems, you know, finding the right uh, finance to fund the projects that were ongoing. So it helped us really to address um, a lot of pro problems in the sector to find uh, the finance, to finance really projects. Virginia's small company has seen benefits. Recently retired but energetic woman has undertaken a new challenge. Along with a partner, she's producing scented candles and essential oils. Step-by-step -step training in entrepreneurship has seen the project improve at each stage. It was finally able to acquire the necessary bank loans to invest in equipment. Chercher 
We were looking for someone to lend us the money to buy these machines, but we weren't able to find anyone. In the end, it was the program that agreed to guarantee 75% of the loan. It was a real opportunity, as we had no other means. The results are here in this field. Not only has Virginia created permanent jobs, but also recruits dozens of employees to help grow the plants. For the moment there are eight that I can say are staff, but we have workers. For example, those in the field. There is a field where they're 30, and we bought four hectares where we're beginning to grow now. Today, these entrepreneurs have succeeded in creating jobs and a new life for themselves and their families. My economy has increased because uh, I finished to study and my wife was finished his university. My children uh, are in the school, no problem for school fees. And uh, in the general society, we have a good life. But no one wants to stop there. Many are thinking about tomorrow and expanding their businesses, employing more staff and even looking to the export markets. It's gardening and beekeeping in parallel in order to provide us with the raw material because from time to time there's a lack of the raw material in sufficient quantity. Right now we're selling to the local market, but we also intend to export. And to export, we must be sure we have a supply of raw materials on a regular basis. For some, at the Mazaka Business Incubator, the time has already come to expand. Some businesses are not growing because of the, the capacity. The capacity is still very small to accommodate more than three people at the same time. The price of success demonstrates the country's need for continuous business support, encouraging, therefore, Rwanda's partners to continue and expand support to African entrepreneurs who dream of starting their own business, which will create jobs and wealth for the country.